how's it going my evil residents today we're going to take a look at all of the mercenaries characters in resident evil 5 mercenaries and we're gonna rank them from worst to best based on my personal opinion because if i rank them objectively uh you guys would just flame me in the comments and say, and say like no you're wrong dude midnight whisker is actually the best so uh i'm not gonna do that i'm gonna rank them uh subjectively because it's more fun for me because i have very subjective opinions about all these characters and um if you're good at the game honestly it doesn't really matter except it kind of does but it mostly doesn't so there's 18 mercenary characters and this is gonna be a long fucking video so let's get started oh. yes <laughs> In last place, 18th place, we have BSAA Jill. Uh, I've, I've seen the error of my ways with her pistol uh, when I ranked the Resident Evil 5 weapons. The PX4 um, kind of sucks. Y yeah, you get crits all the time. Yeah, it's fine. But score be damned. You will not get any score. If you are playing this game for score, uh, don't pick Jill. If you're trying to do all enemies routed, I guess fine. Go for it. But she has like okay kill moves. She's okay to play as. She has an okay machine gun. And her pistol will not get you any points. She does come with flash grenades. So I guess that's good. But yeah, she, she just doesn't have that much going for her. So she goes in last place, which is very sad. Show me your dreams. I will dream them too. <laughs> In 17th place, we have BSAA Chris, and he suffers from RE4 Leon syndrome, where he has a shitty shotgun and a shitty handgun, except the shitty handgun is okay in this game. Uh, he's the default mercenary character. I mean, what more do you want? He gives you a grenade, a first aid spray, and the default kit. Uh, it's familiar, it's cool, it's hip, it's wow, and how. And yeah, he's just fine. He's okay. Uh, I'd say the only actually bad character in this game is BSAA Jill. There's a couple of other ones you could argue for, but I think they're more fun to play as because they have silly moves. But um, yeah, Chris is just, he's just kind of boring to play as. You've played as him through the whole main game and then you unlock the bonus mode. You're like, oh boy, I get to play as Chris again. I mean, if you like Chris, cool, but I like Chris, but I, I'm, I'm playing mercenaries to play as all the weirdos, okay? I want to play as like, you know, everyone else. Does, does that make sense? So Chris goes at number 17. Protect them! Ah! Where were you when your own people needed you? Hiding! In 16th place, we have Battlesuit Jill. Uh, they did Jill dirty in this game because I hate this machine gun and she gets my least favorite sniper and that's it. Yeah, she has grenades, but it, they're not they're not flash grenades and flash grenades are just better. That's that's pretty much all I got to say. Yeah, she's dripped out. She She's in her iconic battlesuit outfit. First person to bring up that her battlesuit is unzipped in the comments, I am banning you from my comment section. But yeah, she, she has kind of eh, attack moves like default Jill and she has boring weapons. The, the weapons are better than regular PSA Agile, but they're just boring and I personally don't like them very much. So she goes here in 16th place, which is very sad because Jill is out of the list. I will not be talking about Jill anymore in this video. And that's it. But that that's the way it is. Sometimes I wonder what the old me say. In 15th place, we have Business Sheva. And the main reason I ranked her down here is because she has proximity mines, which are a pain in the ass to use in mercenaries. And I don't like her handgun that much. I honestly prefer Chris's handgun, but if I was gonna take a handgun, this is like the last one I'd take, at least in mercenaries besides BSAA Jills, but that's a mercenaries exclusive. So I still would sort of rather use that one. I don't know what I'm talking about. She does have the Elhawk, which does help, but she just, she just honestly just generally struggles with firepower. If you're playing on a map that just has regular Magina, you're gonna be fine but if you're playing on a map with any remotely difficult enemy you're not gonna be fine you're not gonna be having a good time because at least for me my magnum ammo drop rate in this game just is horrible i don't know if that's the case for everyone else but just specifically for sheva and wesker the magnum ammo drop rate is so bad uh if that's the case for you please let me know in the comments i don't know if i'm just unlucky or if it's a skill issue or something but yeah business sheva goes at 15 she just doesn't have good firepower like she's fun uh, she has decent weapons but she needs like one more like medium strength weapon that has sort of okay in i told mama we'd see elephants tigers panthers she thought i was in 14th place, we have Safari Chris because he's just default Chris with two rocket launchers, which while funny is not that helpful <laughs> because they don't help your score that much because they're rocket launchers. Uh, they just delete them. You can't combo off of a rocket launcher attack. Uh, this isn't Resident Evil 6 and he has a better shotgun than BSAA Chris and a worse handgun. Uh, but the better shotgun balances it out and the dual RPGs is so funny that he gets higher. That's it. In 
in 13th place, we have Club and Sheva. Uh, I just told my brother that this character was OP, but then I looked at it again and she's actually not OP. I was actually stupid. Uh, the Jailbreaker is okay for crowd control, but she also has an assault rifle, which does the same exact thing. And she has the slow bolt action, which is good, but you're not going to be setting up too many combos with it. You're not going to be setting up too many hits. It's either going to kill him. And it's not great for stunning because it's slow. And then she has two weapons that do the same thing. So she just has a redundant slot and no healing items, no grenades or anything like that, uh, which kind of sucks. Uh, she should actually probably be a little lower, but I'm already recording the video, so I'm not going to change it. Choose when it happens. In 12th place, we have BSAA Sheva. She is basically an amalgamation of Battlesuit Jill and Club and Sheva, but better because she has the Dragonov, which is my favorite sniper. She has a good machine gun and she has my favorite pistol. So, I mean, she's got, she's got it all, but she doesn't have like the best stuff. You know, she doesn't have the best machine gun. Uh, I guess that's the only best thing she doesn't have. She also doesn't come with grenades. And then I'm just not a big fan of Sheva's kill moves because they take a long time <laughs> and they're not super cool. And I've seen most of them in the main game a million freaking times so i'm not super excited to be landing any like uh special epic um, epic moves with sheva like i am say with like barry burton <laughs> so yeah bsaa sheva gets number 12 basically because she's kind of just very like generic character but she just has better weapons if that makes sense that's bait in 11th place we have heavy metal chris i don't know how i feel about heavy metal chris i moved him around on this list quite a lot because he has the stupidest dookiest but also most hilarious and oddly effective kit in mercenaries like you could post up in the mine section where you camp just hold out the stun rod you're good you can win like that it's relatively easy is it fun god no but but it's a little funny at least for the first third of the match he also has this minigun, which uh, I have a love-hate relationship with because it's fun to use, but the bullet velocity is so shit and it takes up so much of your screen that it irritates me to use. There's nothing that irritates me more in a game than my screen being like super cluttered by just giant characters or like giant guns and stuff like that. And so the big giant uh, minigun backpack just, it just bothers me. It just, th that's it. Heavy Metal Curse would probably be in like seven or eight if you didn't have the giant fucking backpack. Butter. Butter. That's it. Say again. Butter. Cracking the top 10, we have the main man himself, Chris's blood tasting ass, Barry Burton. He has his unique handgun, which is a reliable two shot kill, but also is great for setting up combos because it pretty much always stuns. He has a solid magnum for good heavy guy damage, and he has the best sniper in the game. His only downside is he doesn't come with healing items, but he comes with pretty good weapons. So that's kind of offset by that, but also he still doesn't come with healing items, so I can't put him much higher. They also had a missed opportunity to give Barry Burton, the guy whose whole personality is that he has a magnum. They didn't give him the biggest magnum. They gave him the smallest magnum. Why? Capcom, what are you doing? It's cranberry juice. I was so hungry. I didn't mean Open to. Open the dead. In ninth place, we have Fairy Tale Sheva. They gave Fairy Tale Sheva the giant Barry Burton Magnum. Why? Just swap them. Just swap the Magnums. That's I, I already talked about Barry. Time to, time to talk about Sheva. Uh, she has the okay shotgun and she has the best assault rifle and she also comes with golden eggs which is kind of op and it's really fun um i i really like playing as sheva but i can't rank her higher because i feel naked in this game if i don't have a pistol like it just it just feels like some of my bones are missing or something like that like i'm walking around without like my femurs you know so uh yeah sheva goes at uh number nine because she's effective but much like the opening to wolfenstein the new colossus uh it's fun but um I feel like I don't have legs, so she goes here. Can we just relax and turn on the radio? Would you like M or F? In eighth place, we have Mr. Mosby from Sweet Life of Zack and Cody. Um, he just has a solid kit. He's my favorite pistol. He has my favorite shotgun, an RPG, and grenades. That's solid. He also has the best fucking melee moves in the entire game because he basically just has all of Leon's. <laughs> He's really good. Uh, if, if I was ranking these objectively, he'd probably be in like top three or four. He's really good, but uh, I think some of the other characters is more fun to play. Up in here, this like top eight or so, it gets really close and I'm going to be repeating myself a little bit because all of these characters are really fun to play as. But yeah, Josh is just really fun because he has a unique moveset and he has a good loadout not like the most unique loadout in the world but it's it's pretty it's pretty dang solid if you ask me i've been in the hills fucking dude
I've been in the hills, fucking dude. I've been in the hills. In seventh place, we have Midnight Wesker with his uh, kit basically staying the same as much as it could stay the same from Resident Evil 4. And I mean, it was good there. It's good here. And he has his extra cool running moves that, if you don't know, you can chain a few times. Uh, it took me an embarrassing amount of years to figure out that you could do that. And I'm not going to tell you how. You have to go figure that out like I did. Uh, good luck. He also gets the big Barry Burton Magnum that Barry Burton did not get. Yes, I'm still mad about this. And he gets one of my favorite pistols. I'd say it's something like my second favorite pistol. Uh, the only downside is that he doesn't come with healing items and his ability uh, sucks up his health, <laughs> which kind of sucks. And you have to be playing good to be good as Midnight Wesker. So naturally, I suck with him. And uh, but he's still fun. He's still cool to play as. I do kind of wish he had his coat, though. I feel like it would make his like running animations look a little cooler because he looks... <laughs> He looks a little silly running around in just his like skin tight outfit uh yeah midnight whisker goes to number seven he's fun he's solid and uh i'm also solid in sixth place we have stars chris and honestly i'm a, the only grenade launcher fan so naturally any character with a grenade launcher is going towards the top and he has a grenade launcher so here he is uh he doesn't have a pistol so again i uh, feel like i'm trying to walk without legs but it's um i have a grenade launcher so that's okay that's fine um i, I don't need legs i have a grenade launcher that's it he also comes with the best assault rifle again and he comes with the dinky small magnum instead of the epic large shiny magnum which is fine um yeah he just has a solid kit i wish he came with either a healing item or a handgun both would make him a little op but who cares the fucking place i fucking hate it he's full of dickheads i fucking hate it in fifth place we have rebecca chambers with the most weirdly good let out in the game because all of her melee moves are really freaking good and she has two solid crowd control weapons i know i docked another character for having two crowd control weapons but rebecca doubles down on it with the crowd control because that's what her melee moves do as well so you can really get in there and just like destroy all of these freaking magini whereas with the other character i mentioned you can't so uh, that that's the difference here i'm not a hypocrite uh, and i'm not that stupid okay i know somewhat what i'm talking about and she also comes with two healing items and a ton of ammo so you're basically set for life with erotica honestly and that's why she goes at number five again i feel naked without a handgun i am going to say that every time a character doesn't have a handgun because that is how integral handguns feel to just the resident evil game flow but uh yeah that is pretty much it rebecca goes at number five in fourth place we have stars wesker I'm like 99% sure he's the best character in the game, but I just think the other three characters above him are more fun. I mean, he has a really solid pistol, he is my favorite Magnum, and he is the best shotgun in the game, the most OP shotgun in pretty much any Resident Evil game. So, <laughs> and then he has his extra attack moves. So he's just, he's just incredible. He's really good. And that makes him really fun to play as because, you know, fun. Um, yeah, I, I don't have much more to say about him. He's, he's fun, he's cool. And uh, that's it. That, that's pretty much it. But I'm ready to give you everything you want. In third place, we have Excella, who has the epic three burst handgun, a machine gun that you're not really going to use, to be honest, because she has the three burst handgun, and a grenade launcher. She also has some hilarious kill moves and if you say that you want any of these kill moves performed on you in the comments i'm banning you from my comment section yeah she's just a ton of fun to play as any character with a grenade launcher is fun to play as and she has a handgun that's the dream loadout right there if i have a handgun a grenade launcher i'm honestly set for life yes i prefer claire in resident evil 2 remake um didn't know it was that obvious but uh, if you're gonna profile me go ahead i guess hmm? you got the decision man i won but i didn't beat him in second place not quite first place definitely not third place we have warrior chris not only much like excella does he have his boobies out he also has the best shotgun in the entire game he has a semi-auto sniper and a solid handgun so i mean how could he not be a number two he's just fun to play as he's a great shotgun and you get the chris experience without the horrible loadout of all of the other chrises he's he's just the most superior chris in mercenaries and that is saying a lot because there is a lot of chrises in mercenaries so yeah warrior chris takes a solid number two um and completely unrelated he ranks number two on the list In first place, by a wide margin, you have Tribal Sheva, because not only does she come with a grenade launcher, she comes with extra flash grenades, so she can flash you at any time, not like that, and she has a bow and arrow. Bow and arrow is so fun to use. Uh, if you're on PC, 
It's even easier to use because you have the aimbot uh, reticle, you lucky pieces of shit. And like I said, she has a grenade launcher and it's loaded with nitrogen rounds. If you didn't know, nitrogen rounds are OP because they freeze almost any enemy and you can combo them into oblivion. What is the main point of mercenaries? Comboing people. Wow, it's perfect. And she also comes with incendiary grenades and first aid spray. You're set. You're set for life. The fact that her the fact that her melee moves are just kind of mid don't even matter because you can just freeze people and it will instantly kill them anyway. You could poke them with with a pencil and they would still die. So I mean I think Sheva takes the number one spot from, from starting with nitrogen rounds alone gets the top spot. She also has flash grenades, also has the epic bow and arrow that was insanely fun to use. So she's just a ton of fun to use, and I've said ton of fun to use too many times in the first place spot, which I think means that I'm done talking about this. Yeah, I hope you liked the video. Uh, if you didn't like it, feel free to let me know in the comments and drop a dislike. If you liked the video, uh, drop a like or else. Uh, feel free to comment your list in the comments or if you just want to leave like a three paragraph MLA format essay in the comments about a specific character that you really like, like some of you do, go for it. I love reading those. I may not always reply because um, my eyes kind of glaze over at too many words, but uh, I do appreciate them nonetheless and I do attempt to read them. We also have channel memberships up on the channel if you would like to throw money at me. Uh, no pressure, of course, but all the money I get from this channel just goes directly back to the channel to help buy supplies, games, and stuff like that. So yeah, I greatly, greatly, greatly appreciate it. And uh, yeah, that's going to do it for this video. Stay evil, my residents.